Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm going to be showing you something that I think some may deem a little controversial. Now I've shown this before in my pre one of my previous videos, it was the wet look video and it's one of the s -Curl products. Now I didn't actually do a review on this gel as far as I can remember. No, I haven't done a review on this gel, but I'm going to be doing it today. And that is the s -Curl Texturizer. s -Curl Texturizer. Styling gel. Now, guys, let me be very clear. I am fully aware that it says texturizer on it, and I'm also fully aware that this gel is not a texturizer. This gel is for texturized and natural hair. And if you don't believe me, I went onto their website. The SK Texturizer basically is the brand. And here you can see it's for natural hair also. I've actually currently got it on my roots. And as you can see, my hair has not been texturized. It's not been straightened. It's not been anything. It's just been more defined and more curly, as you can see. Now, the SK Texturizer is the brand of this group of products. Okay, so you have the SK Texturizer. Obviously, that texturizes your hair which I have not used and I don't intend to <laughs> and then you have the products to uphold the texturizer i.e the styling gel or the spray if anyone remembers that spray you know the ch 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 that drip drip spray <laughs> but that spray again says s curl texturizer on it but the spray itself is not a texturizer. So now I've got that clear, I'm going to be doing a style today, which is just a pull back ponytail, just to show you how it works on my natural hair. Oh, that was a mouthful, wasn't it? So with that being said, I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and show you how to do this, guys. So here's what a gel looks like. It's nearly finished because I have been using it. As you can see, my hair is very curly, guys. My curl pattern hasn't changed. My hair is actually very tight and my hair shrunken a lot. That's why it's so short right now. And I feel like I have to keep stating that because I, I keep getting comments to ask me if I've texturized my hair. I've shown my mom's hair in a previous video. So, you know, kind of genetics, but you know. <laughs> and for those of you who are asking, my hair is between 3C to 4A. The gel smells very, um, jelly. <laughs> I, can't, I don't know. How, I don't know. It just smells like... It just smells like hair products. It's not anything that I can really identify with. It just smells like man's hair product, I guess. I don't know. It's like an icy blue color and it's transparent when you put it on your finger. It's got a kind of, not tacky at all. It's just kind of reminds me of like um, icy Fantasia type gel. Just not as wet. So what I'm gonna do guys, I've had this wash and go, this old wash and go, and I've had this in for maybe about three days. So now I'm gonna just pull it in to a low ponytail. I'm just gonna gather my hair, right. Okay, so <laughs> what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna scoop out some of the gel, rub it in my hands and just smooth it on top of my hair. Now guys, if you do see any balling or flaking, that is because I do have other products. As I said, this is an old wash and go. And that is the reason why. See, as you can see, guys, my hair is starting to curl up. I will be doing some more S curl videos if anybody's interested. The S curl products are actually a staple in my household, especially for my kids, well, my son's hair mainly. It defines his curls like no other gel, and it doesn't make his hair crunchy doesn't make it flaky it's just it does what it needs to do so this is literally just a lazy ponytail guys i'm not going anywhere as we all know so <laughs> i have no reason to be zhuzhing it up you can if you want but as my edges are laid from my wash and go anyway this is just gonna be yeah okay so what I'm going to do now, as you can see, it says, well, it says styling gel for waves and shortcuts. Now I want to create some waves. I've got curls then. It's just not, you know, we want to, we want to sort that out. So now I've got product in my hair. I'm able to brush it down. I'm going to brush in a motion that my hair clumps together whilst it's laid so I can create waves. You can see that the waves are starting to appear. You can feel them. By the way, guys, this wash and go that I've done, it's a Cantu styling gel and Blue Magic Indian Hemp Hair Grease wash and go, just in case you were wondering. 
Okay, so you want your hair to look sleek, but not feel tight. How's that looking, guys? Is that nice and wavy? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the other side. And then that is my style complete. guys this is just to extend your wash and go if you're not in the mood for washing it but you just want your hair to look sleek and as I said it's not watery so it's, it kind of reminds me of like a pomade mixed with a gel because it hasn't got that watery effect so as my hair it's not it's not wet it's just I don't know I can't really explain it it feels like there's product on my hair but it's not wet it's the only way I can really describe it and then you're going to secure that with your hair tie Now I was gonna have a poof, but I think we're gonna have a low bun. If you do want me to do a wash and go with this gel, then please let me know and I will do that. I will need to purchase more, so please let me know down below in the comment. Okay, so I don't know how that's looking on camera for you guys, but I'm gonna go and check in the mirror and I'll be back. I'm happy with that. As you can see my waves are popping through. I'm gonna show you the back now. Okay, so here is how you get a low bun with waves. Nice and simple, there you go. All right guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, I'll see you later. Bye.